Bengals versus Ravens. We've got you covered with both a play on the side and a prop. Yesterday on the show, our results could vary. It, you know, a 3 0 sweep with an asterisk, Mark Zinno. Am I allowed to say that? Oh, yeah. the, Charlotte, yeah, that's the Charlotte Hornets covered the closing line. That was my half double play. Certainly the other two plays both won. So, um, yeah, I knew the Hornets were going to win, by the way. We're going to cover the spread. You know why? Why? People didn't like it in the comments section. Oh, okay. That usually is a barometer. Uh, yeah, that's our. That's we, we all. That's we love all of you, by the way. That's our polite way of telling us you're all idiots. Uh, everything you say is against <laughs> us. We, we 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 take as 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 a, a sign that we are on the right track. Um, kidding. We <laughs> we take it as a personal slight. But no, hey, yeah. let us know when we're right. Let us know when we're wrong. Let us know what you think about any. And all of these selections, as uh, we love the feedback here, and we and we we, we would not the be the number one show without all of you. We would not that be the number correct. one show without each and every one correct. of you. However, if you jump on our comments <laughs> comment section, be prepared to be jumped on back. That's just it's only fair. It's only fair. Excuse this me. is not a like a you know the customer is always right kind of show. No, bite me. Okay, <laughs> we're right more than you are, and we know it. There you go. So there's that, and the numbers prove it. By the way, what is our overall? Certainly a way to well. Since you're so good at pumping your record, what is our overall record for the show? Don't want to do that right now. Because you don't know it. You don't have it in front of you. That's the only other reason. I don't have it in front of me. I will exactly. tell you, though, for the week, for the week, okay, be seven and one, start to the week. Pardon me, eight and one. Eight and one, start eight to one the week. Seven, eight and one or seven, depending on where you got the Charlotte closing number. By yes. the way, um, to, to the poor bastard who bought my NBA play yesterday, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know the Suns were going to crap the bed. Of course, I should have just given out the wrong. I, I did one of those things in sports betting you're not supposed to do. I got on the phone with him first thing in the morning, and I said, Rockets, That's minus five. Is, you should not do that. And, yes, and you I should not get on the beach. Like, oh, snap. It went to six and a half, and I got scared off of it, and I didn't give it out as a client plan. I should have. And so I'm sorry to the – I owe your money to the guy who bought my package. All right. Okay. All right. That, that was yesterday. Let's talk about today. Okay, okay, shall we? You have gotten on the phone with me uh, this morning as well. We have discussed Bengals-Ravens. You are going to take a look at the side, and I find this play very interesting, Mark Zeno, that you are about to give out because uh, it is well documented that you think the ball, the Cincinnati Bengals, pardon me, that their roster, uh, it's a stars and scrubs construction, I think, in your eyes. And uh, you also hate head coach Zach Taylor. However, it's a putt. It's you think, terrible. You think... You, you think the six is pretty generous tonight uh, with the road team? Um, look, you know, these matchups between these two teams have always been tight. You have to go all the way back to the 2020 season, the last time the Ravens won a game against the Bengals by margin. In fact, uh, over the course of the last three seasons, including a playoff game, the Ravens have never won a game by more than six points. Every blowout win has been in favor of Cincinnati. And a lot of this Ooh. has been Burrow showed up on the scene here. Uh, Burrow has always played well against the Ravens. Look, they should have won that first game, and boy, am I pissed because we had that play uh, with the Bengals plus a two and a half. And, and again, Zach Taylor screwed it up. Um, so I'm hoping he can't screw this up, even though I know he can because he's the kind of guy who could screw up a glass of water. Um, but still, I just feel like it's too much for the Ravens, especially coming off a blowout win last week. Uh, I know they're on a short week here. And that's the other thing, too. With the short week, it's like, man, you know, there's at least some competency from the Cincinnati Bengals, good players, enough for me to believe that they can keep this thing close. So, again, uh, you go back to the last seven matchups. All of them have either been Cincinnati blowouts or decided by one score or less. And so, from that standpoint, I'll take the six points here on the Thursday night. Very intelligent analysis, sir. Smash that like button if you're rolling with Mark Zinno taking the plus six with Cincinnati. We will stay on that game here. I have a player prop for you. Jamar Chase, over 82 and a half yards receiving. Certainly, Mark, uh, maybe a little bit correlated to your play there. If the Bengals are going to cover this game, I think they need a big game from Chase because their other main wide receiver, T. Higgins, he's doubtful. Tight end Eric All Jr., done for the year with a torn ACL. They do have some injuries on the offensive side of the ball. But uh, what does that mean? Well, it means Jamar Chase is going to get more looks. And what did Jamar Chase do in the first meeting against the Ravens, Mark? You brought it up. It was, what, a 41-38 to 38 final? I know the game went to mm -hmm. overtime. Chase had a monster game. Ten catches, two touchdowns, 193 
yards. In seven career games versus Baltimore, Chase is averaging 99.7 receiving yards per game. So this has already taken money. Uh, It's at 82 and a half. It's a little juice, minus 120. I don't care. I think it's a good play. I would play it over. Uh, You take a look at the Ravens' defense, Mark. It's very good against the run, number five in the league. But no defense. Yes, you took the words right out of my mouth. No defense gives up more passing yards. Uh, 280.9 per game, to be exact. So that is Jamar Chase over 82 and a half receiving yards to go along with Mark's play, Bengals plus six. That is your double play. Let us know down in the comments section how you are playing Thursday Night Football. I will let you all know I do have a 4% best bet on the total. Currently available at my page, wt.buzz slash bp. Of course, we had a 4% best bet winner on the Jets last Thursday, 67% on TNF this season. Sir, what do you have going? I'll have a play up at the site. There you go. wt.buzz slash mz. Maybe too. You're a real tough guy. Me too. You're a real tough guy, huh? Okay. Yeah, you know. Okay. That's Nobody it. cares about the record. Else. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I care. I well, care. you do. Of course, um, you're insecure. <laughs> from the <laughs> son of a bitch. All right. Uh, from the let's the from let's leave from the <laughs> let's leave no stone unturned department. We bring you Thursday's show best bet, and it is Chattanooga. This is college basketball, everybody. Chattanooga's yeah. team total. Under in the first half, 29 and a half. They are playing St. Mary's. Think, Mark Zinno is desperate to say something right now. What is that, sir? Listen, if you think my my San Francisco Don's Cal Poly play from the other night was off the reservation, we have gone way off the reservation here to find this one, which, oh, by the way, cashed easily. Covered every number. I got it at 149 and a half. This thing went up to 153 and a half and <laughs> flew right over. See, oh. that's what people care about, Brian Power. They care about the winners. They don't care about your record. They care about the winners. All right? I literally was talking about a winner. Okay. But it's not a winner yet. You're t- okay? They just care. They, you just no, did it. talking about last week's winner. Did it last oh, week's okay. winner? Jets. There we go. J-E-T-S. Anyway, I bet nobody in the comment section right now even knows the nickname of Chattanooga. But it is the Mox. The Mox. Um, playing their second game of the year. Now, they played their first game against USC and got blown out. Only scored... 51 points and shot 27.8% from the field. That was against a USC team with a average defense. St. Mary's is one of the best defenses in the country, has been for several years now. Uh, this is a team last year that was one of three teams in the nation to allow less than 60 points per game at 59.2. At home last year, that number dropped even lower to 58.4% uh, points per game, rather, uh, is what they allowed last year. So. We know we have a very good track record of what the St. Mary's defense is and how good they are. Uh, Now, they did allow 69 points to Towson in their season opener, but Towson is a much better team than Chattanooga, uh, and they play in a much better conference than Chattanooga. So we overlooked that a little bit here. But the kind of philosophy here is that Chattanooga, um, who is staying out west, they're on this West Coast trip, right? They're on the second end of it. They get to fly home today. So going up against a great defensive team like St. Mary's, I don't expect their shooting to be much better. They were missing their starting senior guard in the first matchup against USC. Not too concerned with him coming back um, as far as that's concerned. But Chattanooga, again, in their first game, didn't pass 30 in either half of the game. We play the first half for two reasons. One, in the anticipation of a blowout by St. Mary's, they may be inclined to let their foot off the gas pedal for the entire game. And we stay in the first half. And two, We don't want to stay up that late. So we are going to sit here and play the first half of this game. So that's all we have to watch. I love that second part of the handicap there. Always key. Yes. We're we're sending you bet. We're sending you to bed early and hopefully with the winner with one more time. Tennessee Chattanooga team total under. I think they're just, I think they may have even dropped the Tennessee officially. I don't know. Chattanooga team total first half under. Let us know what you think of that play down in the comments section below. I'm sure I disagree with us. I dare you. <laughs> I thought sixty us. points. I, I thought sixty points was a lot to give up. I thought that wasn't very good defensively. Somebody told you that the other day. You yeah, got very upset that. By that. That was my other favorite. Well, because again, oh, how can they be a great defense? They're giving up sixty points in a game, dude. Three teams last year, three allowed less than sixty points a game. You're only giving up sixty points a game in college. You are a great 
defense. So tell me you don't watch college ball without telling me you don't watch college ball. We watch college ball. We'll be watching this one coming home. And yes. But only for the first half. You get to go to bed early. Yes. Either we'll turn it off happy or we'll go to bed upset. I think it's going to be the former. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Not really. Not one thing. Nope. How about subscribe to the Wage Talk YouTube channel? Have you smashed the like button yet? You should do it. Until next time, let's cash some tickets, guys.